Are you often wondering what should I be drinking when I'm playing golf? When you're playing golf, are you often drinking water or soda or one of the aids out there? and you're still feeling kind of thirsty or still dry of mouth, if any of those things apply to you, stay tuned because we're gonna talk about the things that you might be drinking right now and whether or not they're really the right things for you to be drinking, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in today. So in an earlier video, I talked about hydration and how it's so easy for the human body to become dehydrated at any point, but in particular during a round of golf. Moreover, we talked about the ramifications of playing golf while dehydrated. We can lose our motor skills, those fine motor skills, those chipping and putting. We can lose the ability to think sharply and to therefore to manage our play and good course management, you know, those crazy shots, the, oh my gosh, why did I do that as soon as I hit it? A lot of those come from the fact that we're a little dehydrated and our body is missing exactly what we need. Now, specifically, when we talk about dehydration, what we need to understand is that we've lost a lot of fluids, right? Water, and we lose that routinely through respiration, perspiration, and urination. But obviously when we're out on the course, we may be perspiring. Of course, we're gonna make a stop at the comfort station and those types of things, but we're losing those fluids and we're not replacing them at the rates that we should. Now, for some of us, we may even be replacing with plenty of water, but we're losing more than water. Electrolytes are the minerals that help our body and those fluids work together to kind of create that electrical charge that helps our brain and our body do what it needs to do to help us motor along and do great things. So, even if you're drinking water, it's just not enough. But sometimes the things that we're drinking are adding a bunch of other things that we really could do without. A lot of the popular drinks out there, I won't call any brand names, but they may not be serving you as well as you might think. So we're gonna talk about some of those things in just a moment. If you're gaining value from this video, would you be so kind as to press like and subscribe and even ring the notification bell so that you never miss a video from our channel. Thank you. So because there's so much information and there's so many products out on the market, I wanted to try to make just a simple table to give you an idea. Now, let me be clear. I am, I own no shares and have no um, affiliate relationships with any of these brands at this time. So some of the brands that you'll see here, they're just that. Okay. For example, Coke, when it represents, represents here, is a general guideline for most sodas. So there are a couple things here that I want you to really um, focus on. There are a lot of data here, of course, um, and a lot of um, nutritional data that I could have included, but the important ones here are sugar, the number of calories, and the soda, so sodium um, that we take in with each serving of these things. Now, we have what we may call a serving. And of course, a lot of times if you're out on the golf course, a serving might be the bottle you pick up on the turn or from the, from the uh, beverage cart or that you may have brought with you. But it's so important to understand that that may not always be the case from the manufacturer's perspective. And we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. So as you can see here, a Coke or a soda will give you a lot of sugar, 39 grams of sugar, 140 calories, that probably won't kill us, not the worst, and 45 grams of sodium. Now, when we are trying to replenish ourselves and get healthy and hydrated while we're playing golf or doing anything else, I gotta say that our primary focus should be the rehydration and this sodium, which will help us with the electrolytes and that type of thing. That's a good bit of sugar, so we really wanna take that into account. And again, 140 calories, most of us could do without. Now, if we look at the power aids and the Gatorades, in my opinion, this is where it gets really interesting. If you see that both of them give us a good bit of sugar, 52 and a half and 48. So if you average that out, you know, that on average with the age there, it's going to be about 50 grams of sugar. Okay. In that bottle, the same with calories, about 200 calories and then about 375, 380 milligrams of sodium, which again is what we're really aiming for. Now here is where it gets interesting. If you notice here in the servings per bottle, 
for the Gatorade and the Powerade here, it's 2.5 and I have that in red. Why do I have that in red? Because this is saying that these are the statistics for those ingredients or for those um, nutrients, if you will. If you view that bottle as having two and a half servings, so that one bottle that you're drinking, they're counting it as two and a half servings. So really, you didn't get 52 and a half grams of sugar. You got two and a half times that. That's a lot. So think about that if you're out in the course and you guzzle down one or two of those or even the bigger one, it's a lot of sugar. It's a lot of calories and the sodium is, is, is good, which again is what we need, but it doesn't offset all the negativity that it's bringing into your uh, body. Now, Body Armor, it's a newer but similar to the AIDS on the, pro on the market. They're doing a little bit better job. If you look 21 in sugar, 90 in calories, and only 30 in sodium though. The whole point of this again is to get rehydrated and restocked with those electrolytes, which come through sodium. So I don't know about that. Coconut water, all natural. That's a good option. 14 grams of sugar, 66 calories, and 55 grams of sodium. We're on the right track. Now, these products below are what we call newer kind of product, products that solely focus on helping us to get rehydrated. Ultima comes in a powder format. As you notice, no sugar, no calories, 55 grams of sodium. Comes in a packet, it's very interesting. I've tried it out, I like it and we'll talk about that more in a future video. Noon, it's a great one. It comes in a tablet form, kind of in a tube that's about the size of a big lifesaver tube, if you will, if you guys remember those lifesavers. Comes in very low, very little sugar. It's a fizzy tablet, effervescent tablet, kind of like an alka So You plop it into your bottle of water or whatever the case may be and fizz fizz. Comes in a variety of flavors that don't bring you a lot of calories, only 10 calories but it brings us to that sodium that we desperately need to replace at 360. So that's a winner. Now we have a new one on the block here. It's kind of a late addition to my study here actually. Liquid IV, increasingly becoming one of my favorites because I want to talk about it. And I think it'll be really helpful for a lot of us golfers. Adds only 11 grams of sugar, 50 calories, but a whopping 500 milligrams of sodium, which is awesome because that's really where we're focused. We need to replace, replenish and it comes in as a winner. And of course, nature's water comes in clean across the board, but it does quench our thirst sometimes. So in terms of our beverages and our choices, no doubt about it, there's a time and a place for everything. But when we're talking about our hydration and our golf performance, we wanna be very mindful of not only the water replacement, but the replenishment of those electrolytes, which we do through intake of good sodium. As discussed with uh, the data on our board here, some of the drinks that we commonly grasp and that are readily available to us as golfers out on the course, they may not be the best for us. And so want us to help us to be wise in our decision-making and information helps us to do that. So the next time that you're out there thinking about what should I drink, and or you're out there and you've been drinking and you're still feeling really thirsty, understand that something that comes from a bottle already with flavors and additives might not be your best shot. I encourage you to give a consideration to some of those products that particularly label themselves as liquid rehydration. Ultima, Noon, Liquid IV, some of those others. They are great brands to give consideration to. So if you'd want more information about these types of things, these types of products, please check out our next video where we'll be focusing on some specific products that work exceptionally well to help golf performance and rehydration maintenance. See you in the next video.